In many parts of European history, feudalism is a major factor during much of the period between the Roman era and the Renaissance. Much of the area highlighted in orange was at one point under this system. But what exactly is feudalism? Well, in the simplest way possible, it was for the most part the system of monarchs and other classes that had a strong importance on its military. Some places you might recognize that were once feudal were England, France, the Holy Roman Empire, and Portugal. Japan was also another strong state, but for now we'll focus on Europe. One of the most defining parts of European feudalism were the social classes. Though they varied greatly from place to place, they were, in decreasing order of importance, one, monarchs. Kings and queens were very defining in medieval times. They ruled over the entire kingdom and had absolute power. Two, nobles were below the monarchs, but still quite high in the pyramid. They gave land, work, and protection to the peasants, while also serving the king or queen. Three, under the nobles were the knights. Knights are one of the most well-known parts of medieval Europe, and were the armor-clad warriors who served the kingdom. They also owned land under the nobles, and served as vassals between said nobles and the peasants. Four, the lowest level, were those peasants. These were in the working class, most of whom were farmers. They usually were granted land from nobles, and had little to no freedom. The social system was quite rigid, and mostly hereditary. About 90% of all people were peasants, with the remainder about 6% knights, 3% nobles, and only about 1% royals. Feudalism originated in many places at once, mostly after the fall of Rome. The first feudal governments in Europe were in what is now France and Germany, and with the Holy Roman Empire, which was holy, but not Roman, nor an empire. Actually Germany, but don't worry about it. These were instituted by people like Pippin and Charlemagne. Through the 7th to 11th centuries, feudalism was going strong. However, it began to decline in the 12th and 13th centuries due to instability, and was, for the most part, brought down by the reign of Napoleon. In conclusion, feudalism is a now archaic part of history, which will be forever found in the stories of medieval Europe. It was used for centuries and has modern implications, but is now an obsolete ideology which will be forever known, even if not directly. I want to thank Angela Mations for letting me voice this video for you guys. If you want to check out my own work, I have a channel called Step Back History at stepbackhistory.com where I talk about subjects in history twice a week. So go check it out and subscribe to Angela Mations.